Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie from the blog Girl Gun Green, and today I'm doing a full summer bronzy makeup tutorial. I'm sharing all the details, what products I use, the order I use them in, what I'm applying them with, all of it. So you're not gonna miss a beat. Let's dive in. Okay, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe below, hit that red, 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 hit that big red button, and then right next door, hit the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when I have a brand new video up. I share a video every Tuesday typically, sometimes Wednesdays, so there's so much goodness that happens every week on my channel. Um, if you haven't checked out my Facebook group, be sure to check it out. It's Girl Gone Green Babes. There's over 2,700 of us in there, and we are talking all about natural beauty, natural living, all the things when it comes to a holistic lifestyle. And then if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm at Girl Gone Green, and I'm just sharing my life and tips and tricks when it comes to all of it. So you'll get the real real over there. Okay, so I wanted to share a summer bronzy makeup tutorial with you. I get so many questions about my makeup, how I do it, like what products I use in what order, and like how I use the products. So I thought it would be super helpful to just show you guys exactly how I apply it, what products I use, even like what moisturizer I use before I put my makeup on, all of it. So I'm kind of walking you through like the very beginning to the very end so you can really see how I'm doing my makeup lately, what products I use, and how to achieve a summer bronzy glow because I think a lot of times we think it's super complicated to get that glowy skin that just looks effortless and dewy, but it's not. It's actually so simple and so easy and can be something that you do in like seven minutes or less every day. So, okay, so first I like to hydrate my skin and also protect it from the sun with a sunscreen. So I use Counter Sun Cheer Defense for Beauty Counter. I love it, it's SPF 25. Um, it really hydrates my skin so well, but it also has the SPF 25, which is so great with the mineral zinc. So it's a completely natural mineral-based sunscreen, which is so good. And I love how hydrating this is. A lot of sunscreens to me can feel cakey or almost too greasy. This is just like the perfect hydration level um, where I feel like it's so hydrating yet my skin doesn't feel um, greasy afterwards. So. I apply this all over and then what I do next is I take Beauty Counters Tinted Sunscreen and this is SPF 30 as well. Medium Deep is my favorite because it really gives you a good amount of color. And then I apply this directly to my skin. I do this because I don't tan my face ever and so I really need to kind of match it up to my neck and decollete area, my arms, all of that. Um, so that they're the same color. So I like to take this and then it will just literally give me that instant tan summer glow, which helps me achieve that summer glow naturally. So apply this all over and it's obviously a sunscreen as well. You could just use a regular moisturizer and then use this in place of your sunscreen since obviously I already put sunscreen on, um, but you could just double up like I'm doing too. See how that instantly warms up my whole complexion though? I mean, it's amazing. It makes such a difference. I wear this so often too, just by itself. And I'll just like add a little concealer, you know, do a little spot correction and then I'm good to go, which I love as well because it's so simple and easy, but yet instantly can like make your skin like hundred times better just because it adds that glow and, you know, bronziness. So Matching up my whole complexion now so much better and then I'm ready for foundation. Next, I'm going to take Westman Atelier, their Vital Skin Foundation Stick. If you followed me for any length of time, you know that I am obsessed with this foundation. I've been wearing it nonstop. I love how it gives my skin just such a like natural look. It looks just like my skin, but um, enhanced because it offers really great coverage. So I actually use two different colors, which is what the founder Gucci Westman recommends. So I'm going to use Atelier 3 and I just use this underneath my eyes. It's a little bit lighter um, to help with redness and dark circles and all the things. I'm just using their foundation brush, which if you guys have not checked out their brushes do it. These are literally the best brushes I have ever used in Clean Beauty. They're amazing. They work so well. 
so soft. They're handmade in Japan by traditional brush makers. And she really made sure and just like went to great lengths to make the best brushes. So yeah, I'm kind of just applying a little bit of concealer wherever I naturally would be a little bit lighter. Um, or I should say foundation. This acts as your concealer as well, which is so great. And then I'm going to take Atelier 4, and I'm, which is a little darker, and I'm going to apply this more where I would have more of that bronziness, more of a golden glow just from the sun naturally hitting me. So applying this all over my skin really offers great coverage. You don't need to wear it like a mask. I just kind of blot wherever um, I need a little bit of coverage and kind of blend out. I don't want it to be where, you know, I'm wearing just like a heavy foundation. I want it to look really natural, especially since it's summer. I'm just wanting it to look like a summer glow, really pretty look, nothing too heavy or cakey, um, really dewy and glowy is what I'm going for. So this is like the perfect makeup to achieve that. So kind of just spot training up here where I would be a little bit darker. Again, love the foundation brush. See how just effortless that looks. It looks so smooth, um, dewy still like my skin, but just covered some of the redness, some of the hyperpigmentation, um, helped with the under eye dark circles and all of that. Next, I'm going to take the Westman Atelier um, Lit Up Highlight Stick. So I have it in Brulee, which is their darker color. This is gonna give you so much glow um, overall, especially for the summer glow. So I just start right here, right kind of where you would normally have like a little bit of glow. I go down right along the jawline there on the sides of my nose. So easy because it's in a stick form. I put a little bit across here, really wanting to like amp up the glow big time, but also adding warmth because this is a bronzy glow color, which I love. Then I'm going to take the Westman Atelier Blender Brush. Again, love, love these brushes. If you guys haven't found your favorite brush, check these out. They are totally expensive, not going to lie, but um, worth every penny. These will be like the last brushes you'll ever have to buy. Um, you'll love them so much. So I have four of them and I want the full set. So what I'm doing is I'm just literally taking the Lit Up Highlight Stick and I'm just blending that in all over. See how you can tell this side's already glowing, it's warmer looking, and that's just for me blending it in with the blender brush. So pretty. I love, love this blender brush. I use it for blush, bronzer, everything. It just works so well. See how glowy that is looking? I love it. I'm just obsessed with her products, the Wisman Atelier just really does look so effortless, but yet it still looks, um, it looks like you have this glow and it, that you didn't try that hard to get it, which I love. Um, and you're not wearing too heavy of makeup. So did the lit up highlight stick and brulee. Next, I'm going to take even more highlight. We're going to do the lit up highlight stick in nectar. So this one's a little lighter. You can tell a little bit more peachy toned, really pretty. I'm gonna do this where I would naturally have a highlight. So bridge of my nose, in between my forehead, Cupid's bow, in between my chin, right along the upper cheekbone. So notice I'm not putting it anywhere. I put the darker brulee color, just, just a few places where I put didn't put, put it. So just gonna add a little bit right here. And I've watched a lot of Gucci Westman, the founder of Westman Atelier, her videos. So I'm literally such a copycat and I'm doing what she's done because she's a makeup artist and her work is amazing. So blending it in now again with the blender brush, just taking it wherever I put it kind of, see, I'm just like kind of using that patting motion, the blotting motion. They call it stippling, just kind of stippling it in. You can tell even a little bit more glowing now. Um, also, another trick she does is she likes to take a little bit on her fingers and she puts it in the corner to really make your eyes kind of pop, really wake them up, make them stand out. 
take a little bit there. So yeah, glowing complexion. I'm all about the complexion when it comes to the slimmer glow look because it really just takes up your whole look like 10 times when you get the skin right and the complexion right. So all about really dewy skin, really natural look, really warming up the complexion. That is what the summer glow bronzy makeup look is all about. So I did that. Now I'm going to do blush. I am using, of course, Westman Atelier in the color Poppet. I actually have Petal too, which is a little bit more subdued, but I love the Poppet for summer. I just feel like it's so fun and it really adds like a ton of color and warmth. So I just apply it right there on my cheeks and then I'm going to take the blender brush again and just rub it in. So pretty, just really instantly warms up my whole complexion so much. Uh, I love, love this color. And it looks so natural. I mean, look how natural that looks. It just looks like you kind of, you know, woke up a little flushed. Wouldn't that be awesome if we just woke up and we were just instantly looking like that? Oh, uh, that would be amazing, right? So you can see. Instant glow adds like a whole nother layer of warmth, just with adding a little bit of color. So pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows. Brows are so important, even in the summer. I'm using my favorite brow pencil. This is the Eco Brow in um, their Defining Crayon. They have several different formulas. This is my favorite. I love the pencil or the crayon, I should say. Um, this is in the color Liz, which is my favorite for my brows because I have really dark brows, but I um, don't have any redness. So I don't want any redness in my brows. And this is perfect because it doesn't have redness. It just has that dark color. So I just go up with it. Just see how it's slanted. I just literally go like, leave it a slanting motion. And then I go up just to create that lifelike hairs. This does it so well without looking overdone. Add a little bit more down there. And I'll just go straight up with it just to create that illusion of hairs. And then I'll take the spoodle on the end and just really work that product into the brow so that it looks really natural. So you can tell that brow's done and this brow still needs some love, um, but really helps to just overall give you that defined look, but it doesn't look overdone um, or too harsh, which I really love. Okay, and next what I like to do is I like to take a little eyeshadow just kind of bronze it all up, really lighten it up, super easy. I already kind of concealed a little bit with the Westman Atelier foundation on my lids, which will help the pigment stay. But I like to use the Ether Beauty palette. This one is the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone. And I take this color, which is Stardust. It's so pretty, it's the lightest one. And I literally just apply it right underneath my brows to really amp them up help to lift my eyebrows. You always want to do lighter right underneath your brow on your brow bone because that's going to help pick up your eye and really give that instant eye lift look. And then you can tell that my nectar that I put in, that lit up highlight light stick that I put in the inner corner, it's really picking up that pigment so well um, and really giving um, it more of a glow. So I'm going to do the other side. So pretty, so easy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more bronziness, add more to it. And I'm gonna use this color right here, which is called Divine. It's a really pretty like bronzy color. And I'm gonna take that and just put that kind of all over my lid. Again, this is super light. We're just wanting to add like that bronzy glow, summer glow, really fun. But it's also super neutral still and it's not this is not like a sparkle. We're not taking a sparkle here. It's just like a nice glow that you're going to have on your lid overall. Just so, so pretty for summer. Crunchy. I love this eyeliner. It's their Game Changer Eyeliner. 
and it's just a pencil liner, but it's really the best pencil I've found. And I'm going to apply just some liner to the corners. Nothing heavy at all. That's why I like using a pencil because it's super light. You almost don't really notice you're wearing it that much, but you're just applying it just to kind of define and, and bring up the eye a little bit. Um, so just the outer corners, that's it. And like I said, it's so subtle that you can like hardly notice it, but it still makes a difference when you are done with your look. Just to kind of help to bring up your eye a little bit, you can use the smudger. But see how that kind of just draws up, kind of defines your eye a little bit more. I love that. See, it's just a little bit of definition it makes such a difference. Okay, now it's time for mascara. Using my favorite Honest Duty mascara. This is the best, hands down. It's also only like $16. It's the most budget friendly one, but I have a full natural mascara review of all, all of them, but this one is hands down my favorite. But if you guys want to check it out, I have a blog post that I will link below for you that you can check out other brands as well um, and just see me wearing them. But this one, hands down, does it all as far as lift, volume, separation length, stays put, it doesn't smudge, and then it's budget friendly. It really just hits all the, the boxes so well. So one side is a primer and then the other side is the pigmented side. So I just put on the primer and now I'm putting on the um, pigmented side. But you can see instantly, like it just adds a ton of lift a ton of volume to my lashes. Okay, mascara is done. Makes such a difference, right? Now, final thing is lips. My favorite lip product that I just honestly wear nonstop in the summer, really in, in the winter, I'll wear these too, but um, I feel like especially in the summer, they're really great. This color especially is called Lily. It's the um, lip conditioning, the Sheer Genius um, Conditioning Lipstick, or I should say lipsticks by Beauty Counter. Um, I have them in so many colors, but I really, really love Lily. It's like hands down my favorite. It just goes on so smooth and it offers like a little bit of pigment of color, as you guys can see, but it's nothing dramatic. It's just like that perfect hint of color that really warms up your lips, offers a little bit of pigment, but yet isn't like overdone or like nothing too crazy for, um, you know, summer when you want like maybe more of a laid back look overall, um, it's just really nice. So love, love that lip color and it's so hydrating too. They come in so many, so definitely check them out. But this is the look, this is the final look, summer bronzy glow. I hoped it was really helpful for you guys. A lot of you guys wanna always see like how I do my makeup, what products I use, what brushes I use, and just like, you know, from start to finish, what order I'm using it in. So I hope that really helps you kind of see um, the order and just how I do it. It's such a pretty look that really can warm up anyone's complexion and it's super simple. It obviously took me a lot longer because I was explaining it to you guys, but this is like one of those looks that you can do in like seven minutes. Seriously, it does not take me that much time. Um, it's just like once you get the hang of it, um, so easy and Westman Atelier's products are really so simple and easy to use. Um, that's one thing she wanted them simple and nothing complicated. So um, yeah, I hope you like the look. And be sure and check out more videos that I have um, below. I have 10 more videos, more tutorials. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.